All right, Kristen, you said that there are some new developments where the weather is concerned. Yes, good news. Uh, we had a flood advisory that was in effect for portions of Westmoreland and Fayette counties that was allowed to expire at 1115. So that is done. That means we are all free and clear from flooding worries now. But uh, really, the better news is the radar is finally starting to quiet down. We've had round after round of scattered showers this afternoon, this evening, but then a couple of isolated heavy cells that moved really slowly. You can see the three hour loop here from Ross Raver over to Mount Pleasant down to Connellsville. That's where we had that flood advisory in effect. Areas in Mount Pleasant reported some flooding on Route 819. Uh, low lying areas reporting a little bit of minor flooding. That's why they posted that advisory, but up to an inch of rain fell from that system and then up to the north. Butler County has been dealing with rain earlier in the northern half of the county, and now this last cell has been moving through southern and southeastern corners of Butler County. It's finally starting to die out, but still a little rain there and then over into Catanning and Indiana, a couple of pesky, very heavy downpours that just move very slowly. So on top of already saturated ground. That's why we have some of these uh, flooding concerns that will be continuing to a small extent tomorrow. We have just a couple of showers possible tomorrow, but it, we should be looking at a much improved situation. 75 was the high today. The average high is 79. Low was 66 this morning. That's warmer than our normal low in the upper 50s. More of the same tonight. Warm and muggy. Lows only getting into the lower to mid 60s. We're already still in the mid 60s around the area with mostly cloudy skies. There you see the hourly forecast for tomorrow getting up to about 72 for the uh, temperature by lunchtime, then on up to about 76 later in the afternoon. You see a couple of raindrops here. We could see a few showers develop after around two or three in the afternoon. They should be more isolated and not as intense as today, but we still could have a couple of showers through the afternoon. Then the rain chances disappear finally on Thursday, Friday, only to return late Saturday night into Sunday with another disturbance pushing through. But Futurecast keeps a couple of sprinkles possible early tomorrow morning, mainly south of I-70. Then later in the afternoon, right around late afternoon dinner time, we could see a couple of uh, spotty showers, especially developing to the north and then pushing down to the south through the early evening. By Thursday, dry weather, sunshine by lunchtime, and that continues through Friday. Friday and into Saturday. So tonight lows staying pretty much where they are now, maybe dropping another one or two degrees. A couple of showers still ending now and we'll get some patchy fog developing tomorrow. 76 under mostly cloudy skies An isolated shower possible, especially later in the afternoon. Then we're done with it. Finally for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, nothing but sun. We're back to the lower 80s Sunday, Monday, a couple of isolated showers and storms and a few showers on Tuesday. Kristen, thank you.